What's up, everyone? This is Tech Man 5150 here. And well, it's been quite a long time since I've uploaded a video, so I think it's time for a vlog. Yeah, a vlog, one of those. A video where I talk about stuff and update you based on what's been going on. Well, as you can tell, I am down in the basement where I've done all my vacuum videos and Harlem Shakes and stuff in the past. And as you can tell, I got a new camera. Well, I got it back in October, but it's new to you guys. It's a GoPro Hero 3 Wide Edition. My brother's girlfriend bought me this GoPro, and I'm very happy she bought me one because now you're going to get to see videos from a new perspective. Strapped to my head. Well, using the head strap. She also bought me the head strap. How nice of my brother's girlfriend to be buying me this type of stuff. Anyways, let's get right to the vlog. I haven't posted any videos because I honestly don't know what to upload it. Yeah, the furnace over there is running. It's kind of cold out, if you didn't notice. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to be funny. Um, anyways, um, I just haven't really been able to think of any, any good type of video to upload. I just can't think of something funny, hilarious. Like, like the thing is, if I'm going to upload a video, I want it to be funny so it attracts viewers. And more viewers means more subscribers for my channel. Yeah, because I appreciate every single subscriber I get. So yeah, I'm down in the basement. Um, some of you guys have asked me to do more vacuum videos. Well, I can't exactly do that. I mean, look at all this stuff we have here. I mean, since I did the vacuum videos, we've got a vintage TV from 1989. We have a coffee table, an EMAC, dining room table, chairs, a big red chair which leans back a little bit. Old black futon's been gotten rid of. We have another a different couch down here. And that's it. Lots of stuff has changed in the basement since I've done the vacuum videos. Now it's a little bit neater back here now than it was back when I did those videos. I mean, you can see the awesome groove percussion drum set, which I'll be talking about in a few seconds. And you can now see the computers. Well, there's a little less computers over here than there normally is because of because we got our Christmas decorations up. Uh, a lot of the extension cords I had down here were taken away from me, so I don't have enough outlets to be hooking up two or three computers to this one monitor and keyboard. So for now, I just have my compact Presario hooked up with the classic 3D Maze background. Anyone who had a Windows 95, 98 computer back in the day, or maybe even Millennium Edition or 2000, may have remembered this background, may have, might have remembered this screensaver. I certainly did. And yeah, I mean, the basement's a lot cleaner. At least this section of it is where I have all the sheets taped up onto the walls. But yeah, I haven't done any vacuum videos because I got no space. And this little groove in the carpet, you probably can't see it. But this groove here is actually, I use it as a guideline for when I do vacuum videos. But the problem is that I don't have enough space to do a vacuum video. At least not a fair vacuum video, at least. So that's why there's no vacuum videos because I don't have enough space. Now, some of you might say, hey, why don't you just go up into a different room of your house? Well, here's the thing. I don't have any more carpet in the rest of my house. We recently transferred from carpet to hard floors. So, I can't do vacuum videos due to lack of space, pretty much. If I can find a way to possibly move over this coffee table, then I might do a vacuum video. I know someone requested I do a video of the Bissell Power Force bagged against the Dyson DC-07. And I like that idea. The thing is... I don't like to waste vacuum bags over a video. But when I do vacuum videos, I like to have a brand new bag when I do vacuum videos. But that's another thing. I don't like wasting vacuum bags because bags are expensive nowadays. So I try to conserve them. So I don't like wasting them over videos. But if you guys want me to do Bissell Power Force bagged against Dyson DC-07, I'll find a way to do it. Anyways, the topic of today's video is this groove percussion drum set. For those of you who have watched all of my videos, and especially the Harlem Shake and Vacuum Battle videos, um, you might have noticed this groove percussion drum set in the background. And I'll tell you a little bit of a story about this drum set. I got this as a, I got this drum set for Christmas back in 2004. So we're approaching the 10 year anniversary of this beast. And as you can tell, it was used a lot. Take a look at this symbol. It's all warped, it's beat up, it doesn't even sound like it used to. Same thing with the hi-hat. Warped, 
speed up. And I didn't do this. Um, in fact, I haven't really touched this drum set in probably five or more years. It just sits down here. I mean, I'd come down here and dust it every now and then to keep it looking nice. But the person who played this drum set a lot was one of my older brothers. He beat the you-know-what out of this drum set and basically destroyed the cymbal and the hi-hat and most of the heads. The bass head had to be replaced once because my the original bass pedal for this broke and actually ripped through the head for the bass drum. So that's been replaced, but all the heads on the top are actually still original, believe it or not. But anyways, I'm gonna get in there and try to play the tr try to play the drums for you guys for a bit. Not very long, but I'm gonna warn you: don't expect me to sound good because I haven't played these drums in years. But first, I gotta grab some earplugs because God only knows how bad I'm gonna sound here. Well. It's, just, it's not that. I just don't like the noise. So give me just a second to pop these in. And we'll get to playing the drums. See if I still have a little bit of technique left in me. After over many, many years of not touching it. The drum set, to be honest, is in actually very good condition. There's hardly any scratches on it. And not even... There's a little bit of corrosion on it from being down in the basement for years. But the drum set is in good condition. It just needs new heads. Now if I can just step over this and get into the drum set. Here we go. I'm in. So yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to play the drums for you guys. And just see what I can do. Like I said, I haven't touched this drum set in a long time. So anyways. But first, I have to do the GoPro syncing test. A lot of times my GoPro will tend to desync the videos and what, what, what I normally do is I'll clap a few times before the video or maybe during the video to, to make it so that when I go back and rewatch the video I can tell if the audio was synced with the video. But since I'm playing drums, I'll just hit one of my drums a few times. And then when I go back, I can determine if it's synced. So, let's see what I can do here. I'm also not good at keeping a steady rhythm. Anyways, let's just play. <laughs> I guess the tape that was holding it together just failed on me. Eh, no problem. Get some wood glue. Glue it back up. But anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a drum solo. It probably wasn't the best. I'm sure much of you have heard better. But you got to understand that I haven't played this drum set in quite a few years. So, 
You can't expect me to be sounding like a pro. Now, where did that tape go that flew off my stick? Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Ugh, I gotta retape my stick after I wood glue it. So, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this vlog and drums. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.